It's uh, going to be Officer Jim Betancourt, J-I-M-B-E-T-T-E-N-C-O-U-R-T. And I'm the public information officer for the Oceanside Office of the California Highway Patrol. Well, this evening at about 10.49, we received a call of a, of a bus that went off the roadway. This bus, uh, Polar Express is the actual name of the company, was traveling southbound on a Palo Temecula Road near Aruba Road. Uh, the bus was carrying 18 passengers. Uh, of those 18 passengers, uh, six had some moderate injuries, uh, three had uh, some complaint of pain, the most serious uh, injury being a laceration to the head. Uh, all of the uh, people on board who did complain of pain were transported to Palomar Hospital uh, via various ambulances. And uh, as of right now, uh, the crash still remains under investigation. However, uh, there were some preliminary reports from the driver that there may have been some brake issues with the bus. Uh, so that's why he had to kind of run it off the road, as you can see behind me here. Uh, the driver is a 58-year-old male from uh, El Monte, California. And other than that, we don't really know any of the uh, history for the company right now. Everything's still pretty fresh. Everything's going to remain under investigation. And then obviously, uh, once we're able to get this bus out of here, we will do a full mechanical investigation on it uh, to determine if there was anything else wrong with the bus, if it was mechanical or driver area, or excuse me, or driver error, uh, driver error, let me say that again, or, or whatnot. So. I have not heard that. That's uh, kind of the first thing that, that I'm hearing about that. But as of right now, from some of the early reports that I got, is that um, he may have uh, had a brake issue. And so that's why you see the bus where it is uh, directly behind me. But all of that's going to be under investigation. Okay, does the 18 people on board, does that include the driver? No, that's uh, including, including the driver is going to be 19. Did he, um, did he take it off the road intentionally? We don't know that yet. Um, we're going to obviously interview him uh, once we get all the information. Uh, if the driver did take it off the road intentionally just because of brake failure, he did a pretty good job as far as finding a good spot to stop it before it got too dangerous because it, it, coming down this road a little bit further down, there's a lot of twists and turns and cliffs and stuff like that. So this could have been a lot worse than it actually was. Do you know his injuries? I don't right this time. What uh, kind of people, when I say kind of people, I mean like, were they like a, it wasn't like a band, was it? I mean, like, what? All, all that we know right now is all the people that were, uh, they were en route to Palma, Conce Palma Casino from Los Angeles, and that's really all the information we have about the passengers so right now. So everybody on board is, is out of town? Right, from Los Angeles area. How long uh, is it going to be closed? It just depends on how uh, quickly that tow truck can get that uh, bus out of there. You know, some of these can be a little tricky, and so uh, we're definitely going to take their time. Luckily, we have the luxury of this not being a you know a major travel uh, thoroughfare out there. Like, you know, for instance, if it was on the 76 or anything like that, there is alternate routes for people to take. Is anybody actually trapped? I mean, like mechanically or physically trapped, other than just not maybe being able to get out the door? Yeah, uh, right now I don't know. It doesn't appear that that's the case just based upon the injuries of uh, all the uh, occupants that were on the bus. So, you know, it, it looks like maybe it was just a matter of they couldn't get out the door and so they just needed some assistance from the fire department. Okay, what, uh, what are all the agencies involved, the fire and law enforcement agencies? We do have uh, the tribal police that are out there assisting us at this time. We do have, you know, one of the local fire, fire departments here from the area in Paula. Uh, area and then the California Highway Patrol is out here right now.